Hey everybody, it's Paul Io. So today I'm going to be going over a recipe that I came up with for the Lenten season. And for those who don't know, down here in South Louisiana, during the Lenten season, all the Catholics only eat seafood on Fridays. So, yeah, you know, fish fries, uh, boiled crawfish, po' boys. Yeah, it doesn't sound like penance or punishment, does it? Anyway, we have really great food. But sometimes I got tired of it. And, you know, we ate the same things whenever I was growing up with my grandmother. So I came up with this recipe, which is basically, I call it a Gulf Seafood Chipino, which is from another region, but I've kind of adapted it to our seafood. Except for this time, I went to the store and they didn't have the stuff that I, that I usually use. So I ended up getting some mussels, which are a little bit different. You can't get mussels in the Gulf. These don't happen to come from the Gulf. So this is my Gulf Seafood Chipino with a little bit of a change. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with just some plain butter. And of course, one onion. Now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I always add it in after I've started the onions so that they don't get burnt and bitter. I'm adding a little bit of salt right now to draw out some of that moisture, but not too much. Remember, this is seafood and some of it's kind of salty already. Okay, we really just want those onion strands loose and we don't really want them brown, so we're going to start putting everything else in. This is one can of crushed tomatoes. This is two cups of fish stock. I make my own, but you can use the stuff inside of the boxes, inside of the jars, whichever one is best. Be careful on how much salt's in there, though. One cup of water and just a little bit of wine. All right, we've got all the fluids in there. Now we're going to add in some of our herbs and spices. So this is just one bay leaf. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. This is basil, thyme, and oregano. Don't worry, you have the measurements. I know they probably don't look exactly like the measurements that they have above. I'm making a small batch because it's just me and my family eating this today. But you have a batch for a much larger group. Ah, and don't forget, you can always increase it or decrease it. Take it easy. Shh, don't tell the kids. I'm putting some cayenne in it. All right, now that we've got it down at a slow simmer, we're gonna put the lid on it and let it go for about 30 minutes. So, chipino is actually originated supposedly from San Francisco, and basically it was a soup that they used to use the catch of the day. So the fresh seafood, and pretty much it was probably invented by some fishermen, and it was, they were using what they had left over. So my recipe kind of changes depending on the season, what's fresh, what you got, and what's available. So right now I've got beautiful shrimp. I got those from T-Jug Shrimp. And so those are wonderful. Of course, down here in Louisiana, we can get shrimp pretty much all year long. Uh, we also have just some fresh white fish. You can use cod, halibut, many different kinds of fish. Make sure you use a firm fish, though, because you want it to stand up in the soup. You want it to be able to you know, take an actual bite of it. If you use something that's very flaky, it's going to fall apart and just dissolve into the soup. And then today, I'm using mussels. Now, I love mussels, but not everyone does. But these are really cool. So. You know, I'm going to go ahead and use them today. This one's kind of, it's a little bit open. If you squeeze it, it's going to squeeze back together. That means it's still fresh and alive, but they have this beard part thing, if you can see that. Uh, you want to take that off and throw that out and make it pop on. No good. You're going to want to taste your broth, make sure all of your seasonings are correct. All right, now that we've got all that done, we're going to put all of our seafood in. I've kept mine so that it's all going to cook at the same rate. If you have something that would cook slower, you want to put that in first, and if you have something that's going to cook really, really fast, you're going to put that in last, like oysters. We're going to cook that on medium with the lid on for about five to seven minutes. There you have it, our seafood chipina. So this is, you can tell the mussels are done when they've opened up, like this one has, that's ready. Just going to go ahead, put us some out. You can eat this with some nice crusty garlic bread or just some bread in general. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, subscribe to all of our social media. Come back and see us. And we're going to have more recipes and tips and techniques just for you. Right now, time for me to eat.